we start to implement uh, technologies and, and, and new techniques in our training uh, process. So we've got a training center out at Bentley Park in, uh, in the Carltonville area where we do not only training for our own people but also training for tier one mining uh, companies where we assist them with leadership and, uh, and technical training. And, um, and we use 3D uh, technology immersive uh, simulators, uh, mock-ups where we simulate uh, as real life as possible uh, with, with machines running uh, in an underground mock-up. And, um, and we also uh, have got a lot of digital solutions that we've implemented in our operations where we use those for safety management and improvement and also mining process control. And, uh, and there's a lot of success stories uh, that, that, that we can share uh, and, and have achieved by, by doing that. So apart from the fact that, uh, that we run our training facility uh, off uh, PV, um, we, we design our processes when we go on to new mining projects to be as energy efficient as possible. But in terms of sustainability, uh, we pride ourselves to be a contracting partner that can use local employment um, to the full. Uh, we develop local, em em uh, local uh, community members into our workforce and we very successfully uh, you know, transferred skills and, and developed guys to become miners and, and artisans and, uh, and, and, and we're really proud of, of that. And we believe that uh, you know, through doing local uh, employment we ensure sustainability for the community where we operate. We actually uh, support the industry as a whole. Our uh, training academy uh, assisted um, uh, the MKA at the World Skills uh, Forum last week in Durban. And, um, and we have, uh, at this point in time, about 50 mining engineering students from the different universities, UJ, Tux and, uh, and WITS, uh, doing their vocational work at our training academy. We're also fully accredited for engineering uh, GCC uh, uh, skills uh, program. And we've got a, a well-established uh, artisanal lear uh, learnership program where uh, we not only train our own uh, artisans, but uh, we also train for industry. So, uh, so it's a real passion for us. Um, we, we invest heavily in our people and, um, and we invest in, in the industry where we operate. So we believe that uh, the foundation for, for safe mining outcomes starts with, uh, with training. So we, we've, we, we've invested heavily in our training academy. Uh, we invest in the training of our people and, um, and we work hard on our projects to entrench those, those initiatives and, and habits that we, we initiate at the Training Academy to, to get those to maturity. And it's a, it's a daily thing, um, you know, we, we, we don't treat safety as, as first or, 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 or a specific um, outcome. We, 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 we make it as part of our operations. We believe in, in safe outcomes, safe operations. And, um, and, and it's by, by managing that, that uh, continuously that, that gives you that sustainable outcome of, uh, of safe operations. People uh, have difficulty with change. So we've got well established change management pro processes. And, um, and at this point in time, we, we are pioneering uh, battery electric underground vehicles at, at one of our projects with, uh, with uh, one of our clients in the Limpopo area. And uh, it's, it's really managing the, the requirements uh, uh, that involves the, the change and, and making sure that people are equipped to perform their, their duties uh, to enable us to be successful in, in implementing those, those uh, technologies. 